Most people in life, we really feel like the level of stress in our life comes to how much of life do you feel like you control or how much does life control you? Do you tend to control more of what's going on or events controlling you? It's very easy to have those events start to take control unless we take control of what's between our ears, our own mind. You see, what you and I focus on massively affects how we feel, whether we're thriving or surviving. If you focus on what you can't control, if you focus on the past, if you focus on what's missing from your life constantly, that pattern of focus will make you frustrated, overwhelmed, depressed. It won't even matter if you're you know, taking antidepressants. If you keep focusing on what you can't control, what's missing from your life, you're going to feel depressed still. You can take as many antidepressants as you want. Focus equals power. If you want to thrive, you got to focus on what you can control. you got to focus on the difference you can make. you got to focus on what's already in your life that you're grateful for. So you've got to find a story that's going to empower you to act. A story that's going to get you to find the breakthrough. Because otherwise, with a lousy story, you'll never find the strategy. Or you'll come up with a reason why it's too expensive, you can't get there, you can't access it. Or you'll even get the strategy and then half-ass apply it just so you can reward your story that says it doesn't work because I tried it. Resourcefulness is the ultimate resource. And if you don't have what you want, stop telling yourself the story because you don't have the money, you don't have the time. That's bullshit. It's because you haven't committed yourself where you would burn your boats. If you want to take the fucking island, burn your fucking boats. And you will take the island because people, when they're going to either die or succeed, tend to succeed. But most of us give ourselves a way out and that's why we don't have what we want. I was thinking about where this journey began for me, my desire to serve. You know, every day before I get on stage, I have I do this thing to whip myself into a peak state, and then my last words are, use me, Lord. You know, it's, I just, I, that's my prayer. And uh, every day, my goal is to be a blessing in people's lives. Just do more, give more, share more, create more. And what you need will be there. It's like air. You don't stop to think about when you take a breath, whether it'll be there or not. It's always gonna be there. Yeah. You just gotta do your part.